Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you to Tamasa Surya at Clan Mary. This is a double story terrace super link. It's freehold and it's gated and guided. So for those who are new to this channel, I'm Chester Cheng and this is my real estate channel. Let's go! Now before we begin, according to the YouTube analysis, I am surprised to find out that 90% of the audience that are watching this channel is still unsubscribed yet. I appreciate if you can take a few seconds of your time to click on to the subscribe button and also click on to the bell icon so you won't miss all my future uploads. And if you're watching this video from other social media networks, you can find my channel in the YouTube search bar by typing Chester Chang Real Estate. So before we go into the house and check out the house tour, I'm going to start with the Porsche first. This car Porsche, you can park comfortably two cars side by side because it has a width of 28 feet. Right opposite this house is not facing directly any houses. So if you have guests coming over or family members coming over, they can park opposite without disturbing your neighbours. So now let's go in and check out the house. Come. Hey guys, come in and check out this house. This is Tamasa Surya's double storey terrace super link. This house has a width of 28 feet and a length of 96 feet. It has a total land area of approximately 2,700 square feet with a build up of approximately 4,000 square feet. So this house is fully renovated. As you can see, the owner has done a lot of ID. This space is the living area. The owner has extended the left and right side. They changed the orientation of the door from the side to the middle. So as you can see, the space of this living hall is slightly bigger than the standard basic unit. Lots of cabinets here, here will be your TV area. And here will be the dining space. They also have an air well here for natural lighting and ventilation. The fact is the owner installed a motorized system where you can open and close this area. So you open, you get lots of natural light to brighten this area. So here you can see it's like a mini waterfall. So it will be quite soothing once you turn it on and maybe you can have some small fishes here. The dining table itself is round, 8-seater dining space. Here will be the dry kitchen. Come take a look. The dry kitchen is quite large also by itself. We have a nice island here, lots of cabinet storage area on this end and also the back. Here we have electric cooker and hood and further down here will be the wet kitchen. Come take a look. They also have a sliding door to open and close. So if you do heavy cooking, the fumes will not enter to your living space. Here, of course, the owner installed a gas cooker and also a hood. And behind will be a maid's area. And also they have a maid's bathroom right at this corner here. Here, I think the owner relocated for their washing machine. So right, this small door here, it access out to their yard area. As you can see, it's still quite a large space here. So the good part of this house in Tamasa Surya is the back lane is quite wide. So whatever it is, you get some privacy. You also can plant some fruit trees there as well. Now let's go on to the other side and check out the rooms on the ground floor. Come. Now this part behind me will be the back room. We have a powder room here and of course this is staircase to the first floor. And right here, as you can see, they elevated the floor a little bit. This originally is a bedroom for the guests. Over here, there's a sliding door so you get a lot of natural lighting and so ventilation. We have an ensuite bathroom here on the ground floor. I can see the owner has done lots of ID and put a lot of cabinets here. So in terms of storage, it has plenty full. Okay, let's go up to the first floor. So up to the first floor, we are greeted with a nice landing area. This one will be the family hall. As you can see, the owner also installed this partition here. So if you need a space for your guests, if they come over for sleepover, you can close it up. Then you can put a, maybe a sofa bed here. Here we have another bedroom. This bedroom honestly is quite large. Can fit in a king size bed with wardrobe. There's a study table here already installed. The wardrobe is right at this corner. And also we have an ensuite bathroom. This bedroom is facing the back. So you get the garden view on the backyard. Oh, honestly, it's quite big. So let's go to the front side of the house. Now over here to the front, the only install here, the, a door here, maybe for security purpose. So right here, there's another bedroom. Come, let's take a look. So this bedroom, they have changed some configuration. This is a partition. You can remove it if you don't like it. So this space, they have a window here. It looks like a privacy window anyway. So this room, you get all your natural lighting and ventilation from the air well up here. And this corner, we have an ensuite bathroom. And also we have another area here, which is a storeroom. Have uh, natural lighting and ventilation as well. 
So honestly, this room is not that big compared to the first one I reviewed, but it's rectangle in size. Fitment wise, you can put in a queen size bed, hooking table, some wardrobe, and you still have ample space to move around. Now let's go to the master bedroom. Come. So further up, we have the master bedroom. Here we have another family area. As you can see, the owner has installed lots of cabinets and study table here. I foresee this one is their office area. If you need to work from home or you have children studying, maybe you can convert this space to be the study area or maintain it as is to be your office space. Behind me will be the main bedroom of the house. This is the master bedroom. You get the full width of the house, which is 28 feet. Here, the owner has do a partition so they can put the TV or game console here. So this is a king size bed. So you can easily visualize the size of this bedroom. Here we have wardrobe up to the ceiling height, plenty of storage. Right here will be the ensuite bathroom. We have his and her sink, toilet bowl, shower screen. Most of the built-ins are done. Further up here, we have a balcony which had the owner has converted with awning as well. And further in front of me, we have the walk-in wardrobe. Now this partition honestly is quite useful. I believe it's for privacy purpose as well. So you have two entrance to access to this area. Here will be the walk-in wardrobe. We have a door here for you to open and close. So in case that uh, you need it to be closed where you are changing clothes whatsoever. As for Glamour residents, most of them will come over to the Subang Jaya site and it has lots of varieties. There's many food eateries here in Subang Jaya, especially the SS15 site and also the SS14. Apart from your fast food eateries, you have like KFC and McDonald's. These are quite common. They have lots of local Chinese, Indians and Malay eateries here in Subang Jaya. As for convenience of banking, there are many banks here for you to choose from, from local to overseas bank as well. Not to mention, in terms of shopping malls, you have the one close by will be the Subang Parade, and then you have the Aeon Big, the Empire Shopping Gallery. If you want to go for a bigger mall, there's one which is at Sunway. It is called the Sunway Pyramid. Next to the Sunway Pyramid, you have the Water Theme Park. If you have children who is under 17 years old, they can go to International School, which are located at SS15. They are 3KL and also the His International School. 3KU is also close by on the Federal Highway, but it's towards the Subang Heights area. Subang Jaya is obviously very famous for its colleges and universities. One of them is the Inti College and further outwards at the Sunway area, you have the Sunway University. Right opposite, you have the Monash University. Not to mention for emergencies, we have a couple of hospitals. One will be the Subang Jaya Medical Hospital and then another one is the Sunway Hospital. So that's all for the house tour and Tomasa Surya and thank you very much for watching from start to the end. And if you want to view this property in person, don't forget to call me, I'll share my number up here and also in the description below. And lastly, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will continue to share to other people as well. And don't forget to watch more of my video which I'm going to share at this corner and also subscribe to my channel in a round box here with my face on it. You know what to do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.